Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. The van is itching to hit the road, but we can't go until we fix this driver's side window. So let's uh, tear it apart and see what's inside. Just see if we can fix it. No parts required. Maybe some parts required. We'll see. Here's a door panel. Interesting design. The bottom comes off separate from the top. I started taking this off. I'm like, wait a minute. It's separate. Held on by three screws, one, two, three, and like six huge Christmas tree fasteners. Interesting. Never seen that before. So once we take off this guy here, we should be able to get to the window regulator. This is the goofiest window regulator design I've ever seen. The regulator, motor arm, here it is, has a roller on it. This slides in this track, just one roller. So it lifts the window up, pushes on this edge. The other constraint, you see a hole in the glass right here. There's supposed to be some kind of thingy, obviously plastic that broke, that keeps it in the track over here. The little guy track on this side is passive. There's nothing securing the window to it. It just kind of sits in there if the whole thing is level and happy. So if that's secure, then the window will stay straight. But if that lets go, boom, you got a problem. So what the heck do we do? How do we put something in here that can glide in that track and keep this thing from falling? All right, so here's, here's what I found <laughs> left over from the carnage. This was inside the door, kind of towards the rear. At first I couldn't figure out what the heck this thing was and where it went. It has a part number on it, if we'll focus here. 101747456. So this thing actually goes in the track right here and rides along this plastic piece, this rail. It's called a sash guide. So that's one piece that's halfway broken off. It's supposed to be like a U shape, but this piece is snapped off. Can't find that. The other piece that I took off was from the front of the window, from the little hole right here. You can see the little hole in the glass? So that thing was clipped on, and it's supposed to ride in this track over here. Obviously, there's not much left of it. It just got worn away and crumbled. The third piece that is missing altogether is something that clips here and goes in this track guide. So we have some research to do. I already had some people reach out to me with some part numbers, so let's hit the books and the internet and see if we can locate these things. I gotta say, my viewers are awesome. People have been sending me links and part numbers, amazing. For example here, Jeff Cole says, window guide clips, front, GM part number, cross-reference, and then the rear, GM part number, and cross-reference. There, Someone posted a link, somebody anonymous. <laughs> you can find these here. I will check this out. Guys, this is amazing. People have been sending me emails on, like, telling their stories with these vans. Part numbers are listed there. Dorman cross-references. Uh, thanks to Andrew Lacey for that email. So we definitely have some good leads. And I went and studied, you know, all the cross-references that we had, looked them up online, and ended up on eBay finding this kit that says it has all the GM clips you could ever need. There you go. Here's apparently what they look like. So, again, the part numbers here are, don't necessarily match up, but this is exactly what the front clip looks like. And it actually says front of glass. This is the one right here, rear of glass. And I think it might work because, as you can see, once this is clipped onto the glass, it has this lip right here that would ride in this track. 
So you can see the window slides in between here, but that little plastic piece with the lip, that's key to hook on the back side of this part right here and keep the window from coming out of the track. So I think we have all the pieces we need, except for this guy, but if we put this in and put the other clips in, maybe super glue this, this one back in the track, I think this, it just might work. So let's give it a shot. So I'm starting to understand how these little clips work. See the little wings? Well, they fit in that metal groove. So once the clips are in there, it doesn't let the window fall out of that track. So this is also key. And what I see right now is that track is a little bent in because the window is smashing it here and kind of bending it towards the middle. So I think all we have to do is spread it out with a pry bar just a tad. That's almost there. We don't want to bend anything too far. But we want this clip to slide in there pretty easily. Okay, so I see I spread the metal out. that guy. So now we put the clip in first so the wings get on there and then the glass will just you know we'll prop it up and then snap this guy in. Shouldn't be too hard because the bottom of this rail goes all the way down. I think it might be a little hard to do. So I'm gonna try to stuff this guy in here That'll be number one. Number two is this guy with the lip. The lip has to be towards the inside of the vehicle because in this track, one side is smooth and the other one has a little groove. Again, you can't see it from here. Well, I'll find a place to stuff it in, but Let's give it a whirl. All right, so the front clip is actually easier than I thought. It just popped in there. You can take it out if you want. So these wings might actually ride on, you know, on the metal edge here instead of being tucked in. Again, I'm not exactly sure, but it seems to fit in here pretty well. It just snaps in, and the glass will just. We'll put in here and then pop this rivet on. So that's one. Uh, let's try the other one. All right, for this guy, I'm just going to try to snap it on to the window in this position. Boom. It's on there. Now, can we slam this thing back into the track? I don't know if it's going to fit, because it has that lip on there. So it actually snapped in, just boom. And now, <laughs> as I lift the window up, hey, it's looking pretty good. Now, I want to raise this up till the guide meets the hole. And then sneak this guy, hopefully, in here. You know it wants to. You drop it down just a hair. Okay. Once the rivet is in, you can just press it together. Pop that guy on, and then the last bit is a little sash guide back here. Alright, I got the black clip rivet pressed on. That was kind of a pain. I have to use these pliers to kind of get around the glass and pop it together. It wouldn't go by hand. But now, Boom! Sweet! I like it. Now the last little piece. Can we just squeeze this guy in here? I know it's not going to be perfect, but... we need close to perfect. So here we just need to swing this glass away just a tad. And one handed is a little painful. 
try it for the camera shot. So it needs to get in the groove of the metal. So close. Let's see what we got. I know, I know. I gotta, gotta get two hands in here. <laughs> At least the access isn't fantastic because you're reaching into a door panel trying to put on little plastic pieces onto the guides, but I think we can. Gently manage. We need a little prying instrument. It's a little too big. Just to get that guide started in here. Started. Boom. It's in there. Right in there. Right along the plastic. Let's go for a test drive. I gotta stay in there. I gotta stay in there. <laughs> I guess this was the uh, the bottom stop that kind of came out. See, it's fiberglass. Let's see if it goes up. Nice. Sounds a little rough in here, doesn't it? Well, it works. The guy's staying in there, that's good. Thing in there. And there's a little tight spot in there. Maybe loop these up with some lithium grease or something. Hey, the window works! <laughs> Victory! So for the $15 kit, and now I have a lifetime supply of these clips, thanks to some uh, helpful viewers on YouTube, Window works. Last piece of the puzzle here, the turn signal switch. All right, put, putting this vintage door panel back on. Four, four screws left. Solid. Last but not least, our switch for the power windows and locks. Let's see if uh, see if it goes like that. There's one, and there's two. All right, I guess it doesn't want to lock the door when it's open, of course. What if we lock the door? Ah, the rear door is open. Make sure a window goes up and down. Hey, faster than the MPV. And it engages nicely. Looks like. I'm happy with that. Thing just slides right in here. Somehow.
Sweet. That's it. All right. Let's see, lock. What? Solid. You hear a little rattle from that sash guide, but we can live with that. That works. And perfect. Auto down. All right, it'll it'll work itself out. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, let's check the power mirrors. Can't believe it all works. So that's it for the window. I think this is all we have left.